Yo, what's happening? It's your boy Frank Needy. Um, I want to make a quick video about my weekend and prior, my Friday and Saturday. So, I'm gonna go into it a little bit just to let you know. Like, you know, uh, I just delivered back down in Illinois, Georgia. They did hit it from uh, Augusta, Georgia. My son's birthday was this weekend uh, on the second, to be exact, yesterday, today the third. And it was crazy. It was crazy. So I almost missed my little boy's birthday. I got, I delivered to Atlanta Friday. No, I did, delivered to Atlanta Thursday. They gave me a load. And the load went to Ohio. Um, when they gave me a load going to Ohio, I was supposed to deliver in Ohio, pick up in Lima, Ohio. I was supposed to deliver to Lockburn, Ohio, pick up in Lima, come right back to Atlanta, the Union City. So, um, halfway, I had to be at least like seven hours in, heading up to Ohio. Um, I realized like I only had like 10 and a half hours left on my 70. Now, mind you, I had to get back to Atlanta, then get to Augusta for my son's birthday on the second. So I'm almost there, probably like two hours away from the place. I get two hours away from the place and I realize I ain't gonna have no time to get back. Just constantly running, 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 not paying no attention to nothing. So I got, uh, I called my fleet manager. I was like, hey, if I deliver to this place, I'm not gonna have enough time to get back down to Atlanta and then dead here two hours to Augusta. So he was like, yeah, you know what? You're right. He's like, we shouldn't even took that load. And I was like, yeah, I wasn't even paying no attention to my to my time. So he was like, all right, bet. Go ahead and deliver it. What I'm gonna try to do is have somebody pick your load up, bring it to the terminal over there in Springfield, Ohio. Pick, do your 10 hour break, pick it up, and then deliver to Union City. But the more and more I look at my time, the more and more I see that. Even if I take it to the Ellenwood yard, I'm not gonna have no time at all. So I went in, I started editing. I took all my own duty time, put it off duty. When I did that for the week, it went on ahead and was like, uh, I had 11 and a half hours left. So I'm like, all right, it's gonna take me nine hours to get to Ellenwood yard to drop it. Cause that's what my dispatch said. But then again, I'm gonna still have two and a half hours to get to Augusta with Atlanta traffic. So I was like, I'm not gonna make it. My lady was pissed. She was pissed, highly upset at a nigga. So I was like, all right, bet, I gotta make this work. So, my dispatch said, drop it off at Ellenwood, boom, I got enough time. Uh, on my way down to Atlanta, Saturday morning, I get a call from another fleet manager, weekend fleet manager. So the dude said, yeah, it don't deliver till Monday morning. Go ahead and deliver it. How? I'm going to deliver it, then I'm not going to make it to Augusta. My original dispatch said to drop the load on the Illinois yard. So I'm going back and forth with them, back and forth. Dude, as soon as I dropped it, dude was like, oh, I see you dropped it instead of delivering it. Yeah, because that's what my dispatch say. Like, it's a plan that was already in place before you even got here for the weekend. So, I dropped it, did head all the way to Augusta, made it. I got to Augusta with three minutes left on my clock. Exactly three minutes. I don't know how I made it all the way to Augusta. I had no time whatsoever, like, I went through traffic, construction. I don't know how I made it. I pull up, you know, I enjoyed my little boy weekend. You know what I'm saying, his birthday. Um, which I, be, you know, show y'all a couple pictures. But really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed it. Then I get up this morning. They send me another pre-plane. Pick up in Ellenwood. Live unload in Tucker, Georgia. Why would I do that? 
if y'all already got me on this other load, I know for a fact the load that y'all already got me on is dropping hook. I'm not gonna go pick up one load and then go get live unloaded. That's stupid. Like that's gonna waste my time. So I dropped load off. I just dropped it, waiting on another load now. Nah. Cause I guess like the way I sent my messages, it didn't keep me up to date. So you know what I'm saying? It was lit though. It was lit though. As you can probably, uh, if you go back and watch my last video over the weekend, um, I took my grandparents on like a little short ride on a mini pad in Augusta. Too funny, too funny, too funny. I was trying to record from the beginning to the end, but I could only get when we got to the stop sign that was like right up the street. But like the first reactions of being in a truck for the first time, like it was, it was, it was crazy. You gotta go back and watch that last video. But I almost missed my little boy's birthday. Like it's his first birthday. I didn't want to miss it. It just had me going. Like I was like, I'm gonna miss it. I'm gonna miss it. They was trying to get me to drop the load before even going. Like not caring about what I had to do personally, but I think it was just like that particular fleet manager. And I don't really like dealing with weekend fleet managers. That's why I tell my fleet manager, give me loads to where I can go ahead and run throughout the weekend. And I don't have to speak to nobody over the weekend because the weekend fleet managers have a whole different. I don't know what they be trying to do. They be trying to cover loads for people. They be trying to switch your loads to do something else. It's just, I wasn't I wasn't doing it. He wanted me to basically drop my load and pick up something else and then hit like I don't have the time at all. Then I wasn't getting time back until Monday night, midnight. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. So I just wanna make a quick video about that. You know what I'm saying? I did make it uh to my little birthday. We turned up, had a good time, everybody enjoyed itself. So, you know what I'm saying? I'll just show y'all a couple of clips and that's all I got for you today. Um, trying to see what kind of load I'm getting on and also, you know, last week I didn't um, They missed a load on my pay You know on my settlement, so they put it on this week. You know, what I'm saying it's only Monday I got about 27 2800 miles Plus, you know what I'm gonna do end up doing the day and then Tuesday then whatever I do Wednesday morning before 5 Which I might keep that load just to put on the next one Cause I'm trying, I don't figure a little something out. Like if I keep that last load, that run me into Wednesday, I could just save it for the next, you know, cause I'd be like, I like to keep it like right at 3,000 miles each week. So like when it comes to certain taxes and different stuff being taken out, it can be consistent. So yeah, but um, appreciate you watching. I'll show you a couple clips, you know what I'm saying? Well, it might be like a couple pictures or whatever like that. You know, from the weekend, I appreciate you. You know what I'm saying? Uh, please like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, if you got any questions about truck driving, anything about US Express, I done did Dart. Um, I done did uh, Road Runner. This right here so far, yeah, you run. People say, oh, why chase the miles? Why do this? Why do that? They pretty consistent here, which when I heard a dollar mile, I was like, no, but it's real consistent. You take home, you know what I'm saying, a good amount. You know, it's not no thousand dollars. You're going to take home more than that. You just got to run work. I got a two-year lease, you know what I'm saying, just off of, you know, it was the only one ahead on the yard. I took it. Truck ain't did me no trouble yet. So um, it's going into my second month, and I love it, you know what I'm saying? I might be on the road a lot. I might come home two days, day and a half, have you on, however you want to put it, but I, I'm I'm loving it. I'm digging it, you know. So, you know, yeah, but appreciate appreciate you uh, for watching. You know, I ain't going to hold you up. And y'all have a good one. If you're on the road, stay safe. You know what I'm saying? You out here in the real world, uh, as normal citizen and all that, y'all be safe. Stop cutting off these trucks. Stop jumping in front of them. Stop slamming on your brakes. You know, watch out for us. You know what I'm saying? Because... We delivering stuff that y'all need. We delivering stuff that y'all need. Y'all go out and buy every day stuff that y'all want. Y'all shipping from other countries, all this other craziness. Like, so yeah, like appreciate you for watching though, man. I ain't gonna keep you up. But yeah, I'm out.